remember we had a concert. I was around 12 years, a couple of years back, over a decade, of course. And um, some, most of the people enjoyed that particular dance. It wasn't myself alone. I would have included my sister and two of my cousins. But there was one particular family member. This family member happened to be a family member who used to be among some other family members who used to mock me when I never used to do good in my academia in school. And this same family member was making some comments that were not pleasing to me, of course, when I heard about it. And at that point, I was like 11 or 12 years old. I wasn't as matured as now. Therefore, I took it and I stopped dancing. Right? I even wasn't singing as much, really and truly. And then my mother would tell me from time to time, you need to start back singing. She never used to tell me much about dancing, eh? but she used to tell me about, you need to start back singing. Mm -hmm. Then in 2015, one of the apostles that, that came into our church said that he saw me dressing like a dancing gong, and that signified to him that I am a dancer, and he don't know for some reason I stopped dancing. And the reason why I stopped dancing was based on what I just said. Somebody who said something negative. And everybody else was positive. So what I'm saying, sometimes it might be you might have started using your talent. Mm -hmm. But because somebody or whatever resource that God gave you, somebody said something about it, you stopped. Right. Or you may not have even started using it. But at the end of the day, it's yesterday or day before, I saw a quote, I believe it was on TikTok, and it really really hit hard it said no matter if you are jesus or satan people will always talk about you Amen. if you are jesus there are people who talk good about jesus there are people who bad talk jesus Amen. there are people who will talk good about satan because they love satan i have people like me i got nothing good to say about satan because he's not good yeah. so no matter what you do in this life not everybody is going to be for you and if we understand that we would Try to not allow it to get to us. And I have, my situations have allowed me to come to this place even with God. So no matter what, whatever I do, regardless of what people like or don't like or say bad or don't say bad, as long as I know I'm doing the right thing mm -hmm. and it's pleasing unto God, I'm going to do it. If they mm -hmm. like, they share, they don't like, they don't share, it don't matter because... At the end of the day, the important thing is that more people just see, as we call them viewers. Once they see it, it's important. Once yes. they hear it, they will be held accountable for themselves. But back to the actual talent, whatever God has given us to work for his kingdom, to gain more, to gain souls, and to do whatever we have been created to do. Amen. This one particular servant decided that he was going to hide his talent for whatever reason. So I am encouraging you, especially the people who have one talent, Hallelujah. do not hide your talent. As I heard somebody recently said in a conference that some of some people singing and recording, who am I keeping in your computer? Even though you record your music or whatever it is, and you have it in your computer, you're still hiding it because it wouldn't see nothing from your computer. Yeah. So you have to make sure that it get out in people's face. If it is, you go on the road and you play it, or if you put it on the internet, which we have that easy access now, thank God for technology. Thank you, Lord. But I want to encourage anybody out there, do not allow what people say, because not everybody wants to support you. Don't even talk about family. The Bible says your worst enemy sometimes is of your own household. Mm. Look at Joseph, jealousy. He couldn't, I think he learned that lesson late, but how it happened, it was to happen, because it worked out for good. Man. When Joseph was thrown into the pit and then sold into slavery because he told his brothers and them about the dream twice. And then they saw that his, his father favored him and he come with this colorful quote, jealousy. Hallelujah. Right? Some people who know you or know about you may not support you because of jealousy. But I just always keep in mind, as long as God have you here to do something, because God ain't create nothing that is purposeless. God is a God of purpose and God don't waste time. Yeah. That's why he will hold us accountable. So, whatever you 
have been created to do. If you don't know what your talent or your gift or your ability or whatever it is God has called you to do, see God, ask God. But I can give you some ideas before I leave. Right. Sometimes it may be a natural talent like singing, dancing, playing some musical instrument, artistry in terms of illustration or drawing and painting. Those are some talents, but some people, it may be that God wants you to to meet other people based on your testimony. Because people would prefer to hear from somebody who went through that situation, came through victorious, through Christ, and you have that experience and that knowledge, and you can help and edify and encourage people who have been through situations like you. It could be like that, right? So... The important thing is to seek God, and God will give you direction. Like, a few days ago, I was asking God for some ideas. And from, I think it was Sunday, go on this week. From Sunday till now, I God has just given me a whole lot of ideas just coming, especially when I spend time with God. So if you ask, you will be given. The Bible says that, Matthew okay. 7, I believe it's verse 7 around there. Ask and shall, oh, verse 12, ask and shall be given. It's not just asking people, you know. You can ask people too, but the best person to ask is God. Because he will not lie to you, he will not try to deceive you. Right? So, again, before I leave, I want to encourage you, if you have not been using your talents, if you're afraid of people, ask God to give you the grace to not study what people have to say or do or mock. Because I have made up my mind, and it has been through God's grace, that regardless of what people say, do, if they like, dislike, help, don't help, or whatever, as long as I'm doing it for the honor and glory of God. You see how Jeremiah stood up for God Hallelujah. and keep prophesying, Amen. regardless of the people persecute him, and Jesus and God and all told him when he prophesied, don't be afraid of their faces. Some people would not like to hear what you have to say, especially when you're standing on the word of God. You may be true, talent, you give, whatever. You have to make up your mind. Regardless of if people like or dislike you, help or don't help you, I want to do it because of God. I walk about with Jeremiah in the end. In the end, the king Nebuchadnezzar, who took the children of Israel captive to Babylon, God allowed him to free Jeremiah. Why? Because Jeremiah obeyed God. And the scripture says, says this, right? When a man wears pleases God, he causes his enemy to be at peace with him. I don't know why I'm going all over the place, but let God have his way. Amen. I hope that this bless somebody's heart. Use your talent. Don't make your judgment to make excuses because it will Amen. be too late. Use your talent, not for self, but for the honor and glory of God. And God will make a way for you. And you want to hear. All of us should want to hear on that day. Well done, thou good and faithful servant. Thou hast been faithful over a few things. I'll make you ruler over many things. Enter thou into the joy of thy Lord. God bless you all.